blocked. Messenger, be ready to leave at once. You must warn the governor of Hikmet that a conspiracy is underway targeting him. Uh, it, it's just that I, I can't leave the city just yet. What are you talking about? The order comes from the governor. What more do you need? Uh, it, it's, it's just that I, I was told if I left the city today, it, it would cost me my life. Who said that? The commander's men, I suppose. Uh, I don't really know. But they were heavily armed, and they pay very well. And so you are prepared to betray your prince and country for a few coins? Don't you understand that the reason I am standing before you is because the guard failed to take this city? Do you know the punishment reserved for traitors? I, uh... Very well, Excellency. I'll leave immediately. Make preparations to leave. I have a message to communicate immediately to the governor of San Mateus. You must tell the mother cardinal that the coin guard is preparing a coup d'etat. Her life and those of her entourage are in grave danger. Very well, Your Excellency. I'll leave immediately. The commander must be in his upstairs quarters preparing the attack. We should try to reach him discreetly. We could try to go through the tavern's kitchen. That's one way to do it. Or we could use the scaffolding to access the upper floor directly. But it's visible from the dormitories. And I know that the young recruits were ordered to stay there. They will not suspect us if we're wearing guard uniforms. Do you know where the three lieutenants you told us about are located? Ludger is an instructor. He'll be in the right wing of the barracks. As for the other two, they'll be at the tavern. Olga and Werner are in charge of the guards... Uh, secondary activities in the basement. I see. Our priority should still be to stop Torsten. We'll worry about the others later.
What are you doing here? Who let you in? I demand an explanation. It seems that your men are a little distracted this evening, Lieutenant. It is understandable, with all that's been going on. You are under arrest, as well as your commander. But... what is this? I recognize you. You're the governor's emissary. And Kurt, you had your orders. Sorry, but forced to betray someone, I decided it would be the less likable of the lot. Traitor. Soldiers, ready weapons. To my help! Ah! And death ah! to the others! What's that? too late. Do you know where Torsten could have gone? No. But we'll certainly find some information about it in these papers. Torsten suspected that I would denounce him, and he was prepared to leave this place. We must catch up to him. He cannot get away with this. Let's go. must have been told about our attack on the ghost camp. The guard! We're moving out! Break camp! We are no longer welcome here! And so... These snake oil merchants defy us by sending their watchdog. Let's show them what guards are made of! is over for you, Commander. Do I have the time to return and see those dear to me? Constantine, how are you feeling? Death is on my doorstep, and all hope has flown through the window. Come closer. What ill tidings do you bring? Yes. I thought you'd like to know that the Coin Guard's attempt to take control of the island has failed. <sighs> this is excellent news. The kind I've not had in a great while. Thank you, Kurt. Were it not for your loyalty, we were lost. As for you, my dear cousin, <sighs> you know what I owe you. Not only have you looked out for me, like always, but you have protected my advisors. Yes. And if your highness would permit, I would like to relay our most sincere gratitude from all of Teleme. 
Thanks to your message, the Mother Cardinal was able to thwart the Commander's plans. By the grace of the Illuminated, the city is saved, and the traitors punished as they should be. The Governor Buren thanks you as well. Your message was instrumental in stopping Hikmet and our research falling into the hands of those brutes. It is my dear cousin that you should thank, my lady. I was told that you were able to catch the Commander before he got away. Barely, but alas. His lieutenants managed to escape. <sighs> I care little for the underlings. The commander will pay for all of them. Do you happen to know the punishment we practice for treason? Oh, yes. I remember now. Enough talk of ruffians. They failed. And for that, I again thank Kurt. If your highness is looking for a means to translate his gratitude, gold is a present that is always appreciated. I imagine that you shall name a new commander. Yes. I will discuss the matter with loyalist officers, but I think I know who will be elected. I hope it is someone whom we can trust. We do need soldiers, but loyal soldiers above all. We are well aware that the Guard's reputation has been tarnished. We will not make the same mistake twice. Sieglinda is solid and loyal. I have fought beside her. You have my complete trust, Kurt. You have amply earned it. Before you leave, I must ask you something. All right, I'm listening. I'm always suffering, cousin. I'm in such terrible pain and we're yet to discover a cure. Don't blame yourself. I know how much you do for me. Yet, I'm afraid that before the sickness claims me, the pain will have driven me mad. <sighs> If only there was a way to ease my suffering. I know of a healer with powers that are legendary amongst the clans. It is rumored he can alleviate even the most terrible pains. His village is west of the city. I could take you there. One of our holy men lives in San Mateus. His healing powers are supposedly miraculous. Alas, it is a miracle we are in need of, my son. If I may, your highness, we have the best physicians in the world. It shouldn't stop Father Petrus from praying for a miracle. It can't do any harm. I'm nothing more than a sailor. I don't have much to offer when it comes to healing. As it would seem to lay a pray for the Malachor, just like the Bridge Alliance, perhaps it would be best to ask for aid from those not suffering from the plague. The sailor's right. The holy men and the sages had their chance on the continent, and we all know how that went. Thank you, as always, for your advice. Cousin, you are the only one I trust, so please, don't let me lose my mind. I'll follow the leads and find a way. I won't let you down. Hold on. I'll be back as soon as I can. I need to speak with you, my child. Yes, Petrus. What is it? I've come up with a plan to put what we've learned about the Mother Cardinal to use. Do tell. You will have to take part in a fight in the arena, and we must make sure that the odds are high. To do this, you'll have to face a champion. This will lure her in. That would effectively raise the odds, but the risk is they'll bet against me. That may be the case. But the highest bets are based on the exact time of the defeat. I see. We are going to make the Mother Cardinal believe that I will lose at a specific time. And by doing so, you'll win something bigger than a fight. This will make her lose a considerable amount. Exactly. I've even taken measures to make sure her usual moneylender is unavailable. Without knowing it, she will come to me looking for gold in order to place her bet. And she will be at our mercy. Is this how you settle scores in Teleme? This is how all scores are settled, my child. Or on the battlefield. But that's much dirtier. So, what do you say? It is certainly interesting. But I must see to other things before putting it in motion. I'll come back to you as soon as I have more time. Of course, my child.
I know how to be patient. I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child. Green blood, my friend. Glad to see you. I'd like to talk to you about something. I'm listening. Remember that note we found in Rolf's office? Of course. The one that said the recruits had been sent to different governors? Yes. It was signed with a name I'm familiar with. Herman. Somebody I'd hope never to cross paths with again. He was the one who founded the camp we closed. And believe me, he has done an incredible amount of damage to the guard. I'm gonna find him and make him pay for what he's done. I know that he's in San Mateus. Another time, all right? Anything else? I must... Cara, do you? I must... Get out! Who do you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tien. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is an Ormanawi. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desade. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. Then, how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness, the Malachor. I do not know this sickness. But perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering. And alas, it is fatal in all cases. The symptoms of its victims start with severe headaches and nausea. Their blood becomes effectively darker and more viscous. The veins become visible. In the end, the victim weakens and dies. We have not, as of yet, found a treatment. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But Tiern, with all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave. I must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well then, tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place. Turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded. 
but the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenlen started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do. But I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He may be able to explain all there is to learn about these attacks. Our people require the talent of a doctor, and we would prefer to have the best. But an accident is quick in coming. We wouldn't want to have to settle for second best. I do not know what these brutes want with the doctor, but we cannot let them get away with this. Well, well. What do you want? You need to leave the doctor alone. Is that so? Well, let's see if you can live up to your gigantic mouth. To my uh, hell! And death to the others! Uh, 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 Move away! Things are about to... What a terrible mess. What a bunch of idiots. Thank you for your help. I don't know where they wanted to take me, but those brutes had the most detestable manners. I'm happy to have been of service. Nevertheless, our presence was not a coincidence. Are you in need of a doctor? Indeed. My cousin is suffering from the Malachor. I know that there's no cure yet. But you still hope. Because surrender is unbearable. I know that. I came here because I couldn't bear to watch the sick die any longer. I had hoped to never see a case of this disgusting disease. Yet here you are. Your experience with the disease might be helpful in treating his symptoms while we... You hope that a few days can bring you what we couldn't find in years? You are extremely naive. I would like nothing more than to send you looking for help elsewhere. But I cannot refuse you. Not after your intervention back there. You are so helpful. And it is only right that I return the favor. I shall leave immediately for New Serene. I'll do my best to help your cousin with the pain. That's all that I'm in a position to promise. Thank you, Doctor. I won't ask for anything more. This woman is the best Alliance doctor on this island. If anyone can cure your cousin, it's her. If your science could do anything against the Malachor, the disease would have disappeared from the continent a long time ago. We can only hope that she will manage to alleviate his condition.
Good day. Are you the master hunter? Bear tear to mother, I say. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? The Denegad, Katasakh, spoke to me about the animal attacks. Can you tell me more? The Ten Lands have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here. But they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded, and some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Ten Lands killed them, but it is also possible they followed the missionaries. What can you tell me about the Ten Lands? They are normally very peaceful creatures, very calm, but who defend their young with fury. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same. Not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. And that they are coming more and more often. Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Donegan, they survived. But the attacks happen more and more often. And they come with greater fury. I try to chase them away. To destroy any nests that I found. But still, more of them come. And now our children disappear. The stress alone could kill our village. Can you tell me who the children are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenlands. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, but the only way to stop their numbers growing. There are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. Mm. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one. Or else they will build again. We see them especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. We shall go and destroy these nests come dawn. I must be going. I'm in need. Isn't it odd that these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive? Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak. Lives are at risk. I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaixe, like you, do not understand the bond we have with nature. Is there anything that we might be able to do for you? Besides destroying their nests and fighting the Denlands, do you know the art of crafting weapons? Our artisan was among the wounded, and my weapon is broken. I can try to repair it. Here, in this condition, it is of no use to me at all. I must be going. Katasach advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the tenants have built their nests.
Here is your weapon. It has been made new. Thank you. You have given it back its purpose. It belonged to my master before me, and you have understood its nature. It may be that you are more on Armanawi than Renite Zane, and that you will one day see as we. During my walks, I saw a great tenlan of clear skin. The others seemed to follow him. I felt that he called them, that he fed them rage, and that his place is not here. Why didn't you try to kill it? He is very strong, and the others protect him. I was only able to track him to his lair, a cavern. I placed traps all around it, but all were avoided. He is clever. You say he doesn't have his place here. What do you mean? That he was brought here. To attract the others and make them rage. By men. The Renaic say. But I cannot prove this. That is why I did not wish to voice these thoughts. I feel it. Nothing more. What do you know about the missionaries? The Moin Shakers? They came here before the attacks of the Tenlands and buzz around us like flies. They speak of light, of demons, and the soul. Their words make little sense. All that they want is for us to join their village, and that we serve them as if they were Tiern. They want to make us Renaixe. They want to sever our bond with our lands. Their words do not touch those old enough to understand, but the young are sometimes swayed and listen. They follow them to their Eden village, and they become their servants. Their bond is cut. Have you tried to fight them? No, but some have fought, because they treat the young girls badly. I think if not for the attacks, no one would have turned to them and their light. But hope fled our village and the weak of courage have doubts and listen to their lies. Uh, it sounds as if the attacks began at a timely moment for the missionaries. I must be going. I have been sent here by your Denegad. He asked me to help you. I hope he is right, and that you are not like the Moin Shakers. My sister has gone missing. It is for that very reason that I am here. To attempt to find her or to understand what has happened. Then I will tell you what I know. Your sister, what does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman. Coined and sweet. I miss her so very much. Is she very careful? Does she know she should be wary of the beasts? Oh, yes. She knows it very well. But she has been star-eyed of late. And the stars make you forget all caution. How long has she been missing? Two nights have gone by since. She told me that she was going to gather berries. It was early in the day, but she never returned. I called for her from the edge of the village, in vain, and the Tenlands were roaming. Do you know where she usually goes picking? Certainly. In the clearing. We find a great many berries there. Is there anyone in the village that might want to harm her? No. No. Everyone loves her. Maybe a little too much. Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. The Mind Shakers took notice, and the boys of the village did as well. What do you think has likely happened? 
She might have been attacked by the Tenlands. But it was early, and they come out mostly at night. You think it might have been something else? I hope. Even if it is a strange hope. Perhaps she was taken by the Mind Shakers. They were pestering her the other day. They behaved without respect. A boy intervened and chased them off. But you think that they might have captured her when she was outside of the village? That merits inspection. I must leave now. Good day. My name is Desarde from the congregation. I've been told that someone dear to you has disappeared. Yes, my little brother. He left to go fishing, like every day, and he did not return. Your Denegar asked me to help you. Any information you can give me will be very useful. This is true. I hope your words to be heartfelt. My insides are twisting in fear that my brother is lost. Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall and strong. The girls find him handsome. He is such a nice boy, but he is wild off the tether, and often his curiosity gets him in trouble. Can you tell me more precisely when he disappeared, where, and under what circumstances? It was two days past. I saw him leave to go fishing, as he was often to do. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy, full of life. I am so worried about him. Did your brother have any enemies? No, I can't think of anyone who would plant strangle weeds in his garden. Perhaps a youthful rivalry? He didn't get along particularly well with the Master Hunter, but it was nothing serious. Perhaps the missionaries. He did get into a fight with them, but they surely wouldn't have taken him. It's still a lead. Was he close to anyone? He has been dreamy and more joyful than usual. Those are the signs of someone stricken with love. But he no longer wants to share secrets with me. He told me that he has grown beyond the shadow of his brother. And the birds in his branches are his. What do you think most likely happened to him? He could have come face to face with Tenlands. They've become angry of late. But he knew how to avoid them. He might have had a run-in with the Mind Shakers as well. He got into a fight with them a while back because of a young girl in our village. You think the missionaries might have sought vengeance? I don't know. But he might have went to find them in their village. He bears no good feelings towards them. I will go and see. Maybe they can tell me more. I must be leaving. Given the presence of the tenons in this clearing, there must be a nest not far from here.
It is dawn, the ideal moment. I must kill the dominant one before destroying the nest. Hunter told me that I would find a nest in this area. To my help! And death! A basket full of berries and a trap full of fish, all of it scattered and half eaten by beasts. Our two lost souls were here together. They must have been attacked, or they wouldn't have left these behind. Let's search the area. Maybe we can find their trail. That cavern seems home to some creatures. Let's be wary. It could very well be the lair of that great tenant the hunter spoke. Three corpses. One is 
is older than the others. Judging by his boat and his initial, the two others are more recent. A man and a woman are missing from the company they They were dragged here and devoured alive. Oh, what a tragic fate. Let's return to the village. Their families need to be informed. I cannot believe that these missionaries used such a ruse to achieve their goals. Two youths died because of them. Then we wonder why the natives have a bad opinion of us. Do you have any news? Do you know where my sister is? Yes. I'm truly very sorry. Oh no. Nah. Sir Tonsidag, please do not tell me that she is dead. I found her body in the lair of the Great Tenman, not far from the clearing. But how could she have been surprised by the beasts? She knew the danger. She went out to meet the young fisherman. The time must have flown by into the night. I'm so sorry. We found them both dead. I must bring her body back to carry out the right. You should not go alone. I killed as many as I could, but it would be better to be prudent. I shall follow your counsel on our Manawi. Two deaths are enough. Thank you. Thank you. I must leave now. Well, on all Manawi, have you found my brother? I found him, but I'm truly sorry your brother is dead. And May the earth welcome him. 
I felt it. How did it come to pass? He knew every stone on our lands. It couldn't have been an accident. He had a liaison with a young girl from the village. They would meet in a clearing, and they must have forgotten the hour. Night took them by surprise, and a tendon crossed their path. I found both of them in the cavern of the beast. How oh, terrible. Why did he go to see the girl in secrecy? They could have... I must recover his body. To give it up to the earth, as is our custom. Where is it? With the body of the girl he loved, in a cavern near the clearing. But it is a dangerous place. Other Tenlands might still be roaming there. Though I did kill quite a few. I have a duty owed to my little brother. Thank you, Onol Manawi. I will not forget this. I must be leaving. Good day. I am the legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this isle. Might I ask you a few questions? Of course. Our allies from the continent are always welcome among us. What do you want to know? Could you tell me what your mission here is? We must return these lost souls to the light and guide them so that they might receive the revelation. We have constructed the perfect village, Eden where they might discover peace. In this protected paradise, they can receive divine teachings and join the illuminated chosen people. Have you heard about the Tenlan attacks on the village? I didn't know those creatures were given that name, but yes, we have heard talk about the attacks. We offered them our help and some comfort in their most difficult hour. In exchange for some inspiring conversation, I suppose. Of course. These horrible beasts have most certainly been sent by the demons of this isle. To chase only a few away would be of no use. If they truly desire peace, they must see the light. You haven't been victim of these attacks? On occasion, yes. But thanks to the Illuminated, we were able to chase them away with little effort. You seem to assert that the attacks of these Tenlands is somehow linked to the demons on the Isle. Whereas these are creatures that the natives have always known. They nest beside them. These are familiar beasts, but hasn't anyone informed you that their patterns have changed? These creatures have been riled up by the demons of the island, who have come to realize we are near victory. Sending them against these poor people they maintain them in a state of fear and obedience to their shaman healer. There is only one way to truly make these attacks cease, my child. Convert these people. Defeat these demons. 
The Dene Gad of this village wishes for you to depart. You disturb the tranquility of their village. And you expect us to obey him? Haven't you understood that he is a servant of the island's demons? To leave would be to abandon the simplistic souls of all those that follow him, ceding victory to the demons. No, my child. We will not leave this place until the light shines over every dwelling. I fought against a great number of Tenlands. One that was quite spectacular. A great white beast. Its mere presence seemed to aggravate the others, attract them and make them aggressive. A beast sent by the demons, no doubt. But... Stop taking me for a fool. We also found a journal detailing your vicious plan. I have only one piece of advice to give you. Leave, and quickly. Or the Mother Cardinal will learn every detail of your manipulations. We shall be leaving as soon as possible. But let it be known that you are abandoning all of these poor souls to damnation. Perhaps you should be more concerned about your own soul, sister. People have died by your fault. Here is one of the three nests that I needed to destroy. To my help! The dominant one only came out at dawn. I should come back later. is destroyed. The Master Hunter will be relieved to hear it, I'm sure. The nests are destroyed, and with the death of the White Tenland, the attacks should cease, and we are even able to convince the missionaries to leave. Katasak should be willing to follow us now. Let's go and find him. <laughs> <laughs> 